this is your pharmacist Sitra and welcome to Ask Your Pharmacist. Today's video is the first episode of responding to your comments series. I love, love, love reading your comments and answering your questions. Sometimes I get the same questions asked like over and over from a lot of you guys to which I'm really sorry sometimes I'm not able to reply. So I thought why not start responding to your comment series where I will be responding to your questions and comments in a video. And many of my videos have been actually born out of the suggestions that I get directly from you. So I am super excited to start this series. Every week, my team will select some of your questions in the comments and I will be answering them in a detailed video if the answer to the question is a little bit longer then we'll do just one question in a video otherwise we'll answer multiple questions in the same video so what are you waiting for go to the comments section and start typing your questions if you have a question that is fun which is health related pharmacy related or beauty related or even career related chances are more likely it will catch my or my team's attention. So go ahead and ask your pharmacist because I can't wait to answer. All right, so here we go with the first question. And let me pull up the question here. Okay, so the first question that we picked for today's video is from Steve Hernandez. And the question is, can you elaborate what areas I can use diclofenac gel? How long does it take to work? And will I have any side effects with it? Steve, thank you so much for your comment. This question is from the Voltaren gel video that I did almost two years ago when Voltaren gel generic name diclofenic went from being a prescription medication to an over-the-counter medication. This is actually a three-part question. I will be addressing each part, uh, you know, individually. But before I get into that, I want to briefly tell you a little bit about diclofenic gel so it's easier for you to understand. Well, diclofenic gel is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, which is NSAID and it falls in the same class of the drugs as your ibuprofen, naproxen, Aleve, Esprin, all those medications. And the medication actually eases pain and reduces inflammation like your other NSAID medications. The diclofenic pills are available too, which are prescription only, you cannot get them over the counter, but the topical gel can be, uh, you know, bought over the counter and it's a good option for people who don't want to take any oral NSAIDs or maybe they cannot swallow pills or you know in general if you are looking for more targeted pain relief on certain areas of the body. Now if you look at the package insert it says that it's for joint pain or arthritis pain only but if you have other minor pains for example if your back is hurting because probably you know you pulled a muscle in your back or if you have a sprain or strain you can totally use this medication but only after consulting with your doctor or pharmacist and making sure that this is the right option okay so let's talk about the dosage dosage wise you can apply the gel on up to two painful areas at a time and these areas include foot ankle, knee, um, hand, and wrist. You can also apply on the elbow or on your back, like I said earlier. And you can use it up to two to four times a day. And if you use the gel twice a day, use it once in the morning and once in the evening. And if you do decide to use it three to four times a day to control uh, or wait at least four hours in between the application. You want to apply it on a clean, dry area of the skin and on two areas at a time. No more than two areas at a time, okay? For example, you can apply on hand and an elbow, uh, you can apply on knee and an ankle, or your two knees and your two hands, so on and so forth, okay? And now the amount of gel that you need really depends on the size of the area you want to treat. If you have a small area, then you want to squeeze about two grams of the medication, which is approximately uh, two inches. And if you if it's a large area, then apply 
four grams, which is about four inches. Now remember, um, the gel, the package of the gel comes with a measuring tape. You can use that, but I'm just giving you these estimates in case you lose the measuring tape or something. But just remember, do not use more than 32 grams total per day. Okay. Uh, someone asked me a question the other day and, and uh, it was that uh, if the pain is in your knuckles of the fingers uh, and it's a very, you know, I understand it's a very small area. Do you still need to apply at least two grams to get the therapeutic effect? And the answer is no, just apply liberally on the painful area. The dose, however, shouldn't be more than the recommended dose but it can be lesser in quantity if the affected area is small. Another thing to remember with the diclofenac gel is you wanna wash your hands thoroughly after applying the gel, unless you are, of course, using the medication on your hands. And if so, then you don't wanna wash your hands for at least an hour after application. Also, do not apply the gel to skin that is broken, which is infected, cut, or covered in a rash because it can further exacerbate that uh, area. And also in that case, you wanna check with your doctor or pharmacist uh, before you use it to make sure that this is the right medication for you. Also remember that diclofenac gel is for external use on the skin only. Always careful not to get it in your eyes, nose, mouth, or any other body orifice. I think this gel is a great alternative for other topical pain relievers like your Icy Hot or uh, Biofreeze because a lot of these have just uh, menthol in them which is like a soothing agent or uh, it's also a great alternative for lidocaine which is a, a numbing medication while your diclofenac gel has anti-inflammatory and pain relieving properties. And to answer the question, uh, how long it takes for diclofenac gel to work. Well, Steve, I would say that if you're looking for a minor pain, it should give you relief within like 10 to 15 minutes because it's penetrating deep into your target tissues and providing localized effect. Like, one time I remember I had my leg muscle pulled while doing weight training at a gym and I could not stand at all or I couldn't walk at all. And thankfully my trainer had the diclofenac gel. So I applied it on the affected area and within 30 minutes, I am good to go. I mean, not that I'm up and running, but I was able to walk and go home and get some rest. And, but again, mind you, that's a minor case of pain. Uh, but if you are using it for arthritis or joint pain, you might uh, start to feel uh, relief from your pain after using it for a few days or you know sometimes it may take up to a week before you feel the significant pain relief and you may have to use this medication for at least four weeks to experience maximum uh, benefits now again mind you arthritis pain or joint pain this is not like a temporary pain this is like a chronic uh, case scenario where we are talking that the pain has been there or the problem has been there for uh, quite some time. But in general, never self-treat for extended period of time. Always consult with your doctor so the doctor can evaluate your condition and find out the root cause um, of the pain and recommend appropriate treatment. And side effect wise, uh, to answer your question, Steve, I wanna say that the topical gel has little to no side effects because it's not having a lot of absorption in the bloodstream to give you those uh, upset stomach side effects that you would experience with uh, the pill form. And uh, some of the uh, you know other side effects or the minor side effects I want to say you can experience would be uh, skin irritation uh, with it. In that case, um, you have to really weigh benefits versus risks. What I mean by that is you have to see how bad is the irritation. Is the medication providing you any relief? Um, if it's not, then probably it's not worth bearing that irritation, right? Because in that case, your uh, medication, you're, you're probably allergic to that medication. And again, in general, 
uh, I would say that do not evaluate that benefits versus risk. Always speak with your pharmacist and get a personalized advice. If you do develop rash, hives, or redness on the skin after using it, um, like I said before, chances are that you are allergic to it. In that case, stop the medication and speak to your doctor or pharmacist. Another thing to remember is that when using this gel, um, get a pain relief from it if the pain is located in a joint that is far from the skin surface like if it's your hip joint because the medication does uh, you know affect the uh, localized area but it doesn't go very deep into the skin tissues lastly two things number one if you want to shower or swim after using this medication you want to wait about an hour to give your body uh, time to absorb the medication and number two is you want to wait until this medication completely dries or is completely rubbed into your skin before putting on any clothing or before touching pets or other people otherwise you might transfer some of this medication onto them and you don't want the unnecessarily transfer of the medication. Well, I guess here's another important point to remember that avoid using heat or other topical products such as lotions, sunscreens, or bug repellents on the same area of the skin where you applied diclofenac gel because this might affect the absorption of the medication. Uh, you want to wait about an hour or until your medication completely dries up. All right, so that's all about the diclofenac gel. I hope, Steve, I answered all of your questions and I hope this information really helped you and helped anyone else watching this video. Um, I would call it good for this video. Uh, I would have taken more comments, but I think that's gonna prolong the video. So I will uh, see you next time with another awesome comment on health pharmacy or beauty or whatever curious you have let me know in comments if you have used diclofenac gel how did you like it did it help relieve the pain and uh, i will see you next time until then take care bye hey guys if you found value in this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family and remember to subscribe to stay up to date on new weekly videos